everyone. Welcome to my yarn car. My name is Ginger. I am the yarn geek. And I got a box on my porch. <laughs> and I don't know what's in it because it's uh, all sealed up. Still taped, but I have a little bit of an idea because it does say Lion Brand, but I don't know what's in it. You know, all those sales that Lion Brand was having like before Christmas. Well, I got to see what these are because uh, I'm dying. I have another box from Lion Brand coming too. And uh, like I need more yarn. <laughs> This is what this is. I will hold up the box first. And I had to get these when I got them because they were only, let's see, they were five for $10. So I had to get 10. Because <laughs> you know, you have to get the even five. So, this is what it is. Ugh. It's a whole big box of low tide. Now, I have never used low tide before, so I am extremely excited. And I think I got one of every color, you know, because. So... <laughs> This is a uh, 81%, oops, it says it's 81%. Why isn't it focusing? There, that's, okay, that's pretty decent. It's 81% acrylic. It is 19% polyester. It is uh, 3.5 ounces, 306 yards. And it is a four medium weight. This color is called Dunes. Color is called Dunes. Now let's see, what other colors did I get? This color is called Driftwood. This color is called Cabana. Oh, you know what that makes me think of? But I can't sing it because I don't want to get, you know, YouTubed. Uh, let's see. This is Cove. Two dollars a skein for these. Here, I'm gonna. I'll hold them all up at the end. What's this one? Sandbar. I get the feeling that the low tide yarns are all kind of like beach names. This one says that it is. waves. This is sunset. This is, uh-oh, this is jelly. Maybe like a jellyfish? Its little jacket came off. It lost its coat. <laughs> this one is shell. And last but not least, reef. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set them all up. I'm going to to arrange. I'm going to arrange them in the box, and then I'll hold up the box for you to see. I'm going to pretend like I'm stacking them on a yarn shelf, and that makes this even so much more fun. Ooh, I'm going to make something nice and beachy out of this. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, this is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Ta-da! Is this the best <laughs> yarn box ever? Well, except for the one my husband got me at Christmas because... Ugh. That was amazing. 
that man is incredible. Okay, beautiful yarn. <laughs> So that's my whole little unboxing um, here for today. I had to show you. I had to show you. I was so excited. And who doesn't love a good deal? Am I right? Especially when it's on yarn. Another thing I want to show you, you guys, I got two whips done. Actually, I got more like seven whips done or something like that. But, but, um, the other ones are inside right now. So I got, oh, I left the other one inside. Well, dad gummit. Well, I'll just have to show you this one. And I'll even put on, well, this is my Dr. Tam Tam. This is my Dr. Tam Tam Tam. My doctor. My Dr. Tam Tam. And if you'll notice, is no longer a whip because I put on the buttons that Kate designed that way so that you can wear your mask and it just hooks right on. You can tighten up these little things. That's what I did with my other one. But I just, the way I tighten it is I just go like that wrap it around I need to do the other side but you see what I'm doing gorgeous gorgeous and I uh, put uh, I put this on Instagram and the pattern for this and the tutorial will be coming soon but there you go I'm sorry. I just love this hat so much. And I love the fact that it's holding my, uh, it's holding my mask on. Canadian answer to the Fauci slouchy. Kate is genius. <laughs> okay. So there's that beautiful whip. And um, the pattern is not available yet, but it will be. In pattern and tutorial. Also, um, Julie, mm -hmm. one of our other yarn hookers, um, just put out a pattern today. It is her Snow Day Beret, and she's got it on Ravelry. Of course, I'll put the link down below, uh, so you all can just run out and get it and make a whole bunch of them, because I know you're going to want to. <sighs> Let's see what else. So, of course, like with everything else, you know, when I first started out, I wasn't doing the gauge right. <laughs> I'm going to need to frog this. But this is what the first one looked like when I was making the Dr. Tam Tam. Because my gauge is usually way too big because I crochet loosely. That should be a lesson to all of you. Always pay attention to and check your gauge. <laughs> Don't be a yarn geek. <laughs> okay, and this, I did the same thing with Julie's. <laughs> with her snow day beret, and like, this is how big the top of it was going to be. I mean. <laughs> yes. Definitely, definitely. Check your swatches. Check your gauge. Always. Da -da. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to show you a couple other things that I'm still working on. I'm working on one of Kate's patterns. I've made one sock so far. And I tried it on. And it's wonderful. And it's a sock. I'm so happy with this. But... I got the heel, and this isn't the pattern's fault. This isn't Kate's fault. This is my fault. The heel got a little wonky. So I'm going to make, an, I'm going to make, 
I'll, I'll make the other one for this because I mean the heel's not way off and then I'm going to uh, make it probably in the same yarn that I made the snow day beret because it's alpaca and it's so soft well it's you know it's part alpaca I think like 15% or something like that but you know soft enough it's a lion brand yard and i can't remember the name right now um what else what else was there in here i see sparkle i see something sparkly oh that's the yarn oh i do remember it is called touch of alpaca i didn't make julie's in this color i made it in blue but it's a blue touch of alpaca I guess this is just like a lion brand day in my car here. <sighs> oh, oh, here, here it is. I think I showed you guys this, didn't I? I finished one of the double thick Canadian mittens. It is literally double thick. This is like two mittens in one. It's so warm and so soft. This is the Twinkle Big Twist. And uh, I would highly recommend making a pair of gloves out of the Big Twist Twinkle because it's so pretty. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, this is why I'm a yarn geek. I just need to make the other one of this and there will be a pattern for these and a pattern for Kate socks too. So uh, be looking out for those. You can already get Julie's. And just so I don't leave Mel out of the whole thing, I'm going to be working on hers too and mine. I'm actually going to be writing some patterns. So and doing some more tutorials. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for right now. Let me give you oh, a few quick updates. Um, yarn hookers this week at 4 Central at Mel's channel. Um, also, Affordably Geeky over at Affordably Crafty's channel at 7 a.m. Central. 7 a.m. Central, Saturday morning. So both lives are on Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys, but I think that's it. Come watch us. You know, I forgot what the topics are for this week. The topics are... I was always a get prepared right before class kind of person. And I think I'm not still to me that way, but I'm trying not to be so disorganized for 2021. And I have started using the Asana app to help with that project management. <laughs> so, oh, oh. And uh, I think I'm going to be making a series of videos showing you the updates on the whip pile and maybe giving any kind of tips and strategies for anybody who might be in the same boat as me. And by that, I'm talking about the whip boat. <laughs> but uh, that will be coming up. <laughs> okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday night and I will see you I'll see you next. I will see you on the next day. I'll see you on the next video. Which hopefully won't be too far away. Bye guys.